five years. That's how long it's been since Illinois State last played a Big Ten team. Despite the difficult matchup, this is a team that went to an FCS championship last season, so Redbird fans had high expectations. I gotta have the Redbirds winning. I think ISU will show very well today. The Birds are here to win! The home team would ignore the expectations, quickly scoring two touchdowns. One on a 99-yard drive. ISU would struggle in the first half with their running attack Marshall unable to get by Iowa's front seven, resulting in not a single rushing yard. The Redbirds would go into the half behind 17 to zero. Everyone knows that the most important position in football is quarterback. So when Trey Roberson went down with cramps, it seemed as if ISU was being added injury to insult. His uh, calf was all balled up. And, uh, yeah, his thumb, <laughs> he couldn't get it straight. His thumb was like this in a throwing hand, so we had to take him out. With ISU out of options, they turned to freshman quarterback Jake Colby to lead a comeback attempt. And he did something that the Redbirds had been unable to do all day. Score. Yeah, baby. With Colby under center, it was a different game for the Redbirds as they actually matched the Hawkeyes' second half scoring output. Unfortunately, the first half deficit would be too much for the Redbirds to overcome, and they would lose a hard-fought game. What's up, fellas? What's up? Coach Speck kept it simple when describing the Hawkeyes' performance. Handful. Handful. I don't know what else do you say. That's the best team we've faced since I've been here. The only thing hotter than the temperature today were the Iowa Hawkeyes' offense. For a while there, it looked like we would see triple digits on the field and on the scoreboard. The Redbirds would salvage 14 points, but they would ultimately settle for a 31-14 loss. For TV10 News, I'm Stephen Nicholas.